I am Anil Kumar. We will discuss continuous probability distribution where we have modeled the distribution with the equation. The question here is, consider the function f of x equals to k minus x over 4 for x between 1 and 3 and equals to 0 otherwise which is being used as a probability density function for a continuous random variable capital X. Right? So these x are the values for the variable capital X. Okay? So that is how the question is. You need to find the value of k and second part of this question is find probability that x, the random variable, is less than or equal to 2.5. Let us see how to solve such a question. Now it's given to us that the function f of x equals to k minus x over 4 when x is greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 3 is a probability distribution, probability density function, right? That's given to us for a continuous random variable. Now what does that mean? Now if f of x is a probability density function, in that case, the area under this curve within the given region should be equal to 1, right? So area we can find with integration. So integration of <coughs> f of x within the limits 1 to 3 should be equals to 1. That is by definition for probability density function, correct? So we'll in do integration of this, which is from 1 to 3, the function given to us is k minus x over 4 d of x and this is equal to <coughs> kx so within the interval it is equals to kx that is a constant minus x square over 2 and this is 4 already given right that is what it is within the interval 1 2 3 so that is what we get correct now this should be equal to 1 is that okay so this should be equal to 1 so we are solving this equation where this integral should be equal to 1 so let's simplify this part then we'll write 1 equals to and here when we write 3 here we get 3x my i'm sorry 3k 3 times k minus 3 is 9 9 over 8 so this is when we substitute 3 in this equation take away when I substitute 1 I get k minus 1 over 8 okay so what we get here is 3k minus k is 2k and minus 9 over 8k this becomes plus 1 over 8k is is 8 over 8k right which is <coughs> minus 1 now when you simplify this this implies that 2k equals to take this one on the other side equals to 2 or k equals to 2 divided by 2 which is 1 is it okay so we find the value of k as 1 so we get this answer k equals to 1 is it okay so that is how you are going to find the value of unknown constant where k is a constant let me write down where k is a constant okay now we know what function is, right? Now it says find the probability when x is less than or equal to 2.5. So that probability will be sum of all the probabilities within this given interval. And this interval is valid from 1. Remember that, right? It is 0 otherwise. It is only valid from 1 onwards. So let's try to sketch and understand this function also. When we find k equals to 1, in that case, what does this function look like? Okay, let me sketch a graph to show you that part. So let's say these are the x values. This is the function f of x. And now f of x is equals to <coughs> k is 1 for us, 1 minus x over 4, right? And this is 0 otherwise. So this is, let's say this is 1 for us. Okay, this is 1 for us. That is 2. And let's say this is 3 for us. So it is 0 otherwise, so 0 otherwise, but from 1 to 3, the value is 1 minus 
x over 4, correct? So 1 minus x over 4 really means that it's a straight line with y-intercept of 1, correct? So it's kind of dropping down, kind of, kind of going down like this, straight line, dropping down, right? So we can find the value of the function at 1. Let's do that. <clears throat> and let's sketch this part. It becomes simpler. So what is f of 1 equals to? When I write 1 for x, I get 1 minus 1 over 4, right? So which is 3 over 4, correct? So 3 over 4. And what is f of 3 equals to? So when I write 3 here, we get 1 minus 3 over 4. So that is 1 fourth, correct? So let us say this is 3 over 4 for us. So at 1, we have a point 3 over 4. And let's say this is 1 over 4. So at 3, we have this point. So the line which represents the probability density function is kind of like this. Is that okay? Where <coughs> these points are 3 over 4 and 1 over 4. Correct? And what we just found was the area between all this is 1, right? Half base into height. Base is 3 minus 1, which is 2. And height is 3 over 4 minus 1 over 4, which is half. Is it okay? 2 over 4. When you multiply, you get area of 1. And that shows that it is indeed a probability density function since the area under this curve is 1. Correct? So, that is how you actually solve these questions. So, area under the curve is 1. Now, the question is, find the probability when x is less than or equal to 2.5. That is to say, we are considering a point here, midway between, right? So, kind of here. Less than means up to this place. Is it okay? Up to this. Between this, find the probability when it is between this. So, you can calculate the area directly from the graph or will do the integral once again. So we have the integral this time. Let me just divide this page. So we're doing part two now, which is integral of the function, which now we know k is one. So we can write this as one minus x over four between one and three, one and three, correct? So that is what we are going to do. So as we did earlier, this is equal to this is a constant, so integral is x, x integral is x square over 2, so 2 times 4, and we'll find, sorry, we are doing between, sorry, between 1 to 2.5, between 1 to 2.5, right, this value 2.5, okay, so between 1 to 2.5, we can find this value, is it okay, that is to say, we'll calculate the value for 1 minus 1 over 8, take away, I mean, this should have been the negative term, 2.5 minus, okay, let me just change this, uh, 2.5 <coughs> minus 2.5 square, okay, take away 1 minus 1 over 8, is it okay? So this is what we'll calculate. So we have 2.5 take away <coughs> 2.5 square divided by 8. That is equal to 52 over 32. So this is 55 over 32. Take away. The, this portion is 8 minus 1, which is 7, right? So take away 7 over 8. Is that okay? So we'll do this take away uh, within brackets. 7 divided by 8. And that is equal to 27 over 32. So we get our answer as 27 over 32. Is it okay? So that is the probability for the random variable to be less than 2.5. Correct? So the answer is 27 over 32. So we get this answer as equals to 27 over 32. I hope that helps. So whenever you have a continuous probability distribution, we are trying to find the area of the probability density function within that interval. So that is the whole concept. So area could be fine by doing the integration within the interval. That should give us the area. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.